creating a topography or garden or site for our house. So we've got the house done and now we're going to go to our site plan. OK. And what we're going to start off by doing is using some model lines and just sketching out the size of the site. OK, now, actually, just before I do that on this one, I need to uh, deselect the crop view so we can see it. All right, so there it is. Now, the site for this particular project is 17 by 25. So I'll make that 17,000 that way and 25 that way. OK, and then what I'm going to do is just select these lines and then grab and drag them around to get them to a specific position um, for the actual site that I want. So I'll just say by there, that's fine. And I might just change, actually, yeah, I'll make that 6,000. And then I can just change this a little bit again. 25, it's moved it all, that's fine. Okay, and then if you want to gain, just get yourself some final adjustments as to exactly where things are, you can just adjust it there and there as well with those sizes. All right. So that gives me where I want my site. Now I'm going to go to the Massing and Site tab and create a topo solid. OK, it's got a topo solid by here. Um, level foundation, I don't want that. Level ground floor and height offset minus 150. Edit the type. So the structure at the moment is literally just earth, 300 mil thick. So I just going to insert one above and I'm going to make the top one grass. There we go. Click on grass. Say OK and give it a thickness of 50. And then this one, I'm actually going to give it earth. And say OK. And we can make that as thick or as thin as we want. I'll make it 900. Go on. So we've got a bit of a tangible thickness to it. OK. Let's say OK there. And now we draw it. And I use those model lines that I put in there as the guide for that. No, do not do any attaching for this. OK. Now, what we are going to need to do is to cut a hole in this, possibly, where the building is. Um, so we could edit that sketch. And we can, again, use this and try and line it up with the outside walls. All right. And we get those little squares showing the endpoints. And then tick. And so again, don't attach. Right, so let's have a little look at that in 3D. So now we can see we have our site. All right, by there. And we've cut the hole out where the building is. We now need some other elements to the site. So some other surfaces. What we're going to do here is create footpaths and parking and so forth, driveway. So we can do this a number of ways. What I am going to do first, though, is just if I do that, I can highlight those model lines I drew because I don't want those anymore. So I'm just going to make sure I've deleted them. There, tidy it up as I go along. Now, when we click on this, we can subdivide. OK, define an area within a top of solid. OK. So that's one way of doing it and I will start off let's have a little look so if 
if I do that, now it's given me the dimensions by there. So I'm going to click on those dimensions, make it 1200. Likewise, do the same here. And what I can do then is just make sure I've got that consistently around all of the sides. Okay, now that one, I'm going to give that a different material and that one is going to be some sort of paving. So let's have a look what have we got here. Um, brick paviers by there, or we could use concrete or so forth. So I'm going to load that one into the project, say OK. Let's go have a little look at that. So now we can see I've got brick paviers by there, but it's got a big fat thickness to it. And I don't want that. So I'm just going to change that to 25. There we go. That looks a bit better. So that's your one method of creating extra little surfaces and so forth um, is to do that. Now, the other way is actually to edit the sketch. Let's go back to our site plan. And what we'll do here is we'll create a large parking area into the front of the house. And I'll just use the trim command like so. Okay, don't do anything. There we go. And then what we'll do is create a new topo solid for that area and change that to ground floor again, minus 150. We will edit type, duplicate it. I'll call this one the driveway, say OK, edit the materials. And instead of grass by there, we'll go for a tarmac. Could use various other things, of course. Um, let's do a light gray. There we go, load that one in, say OK, and we'll make it a bit thicker. We'll make it, say, 100, and I'll reduce that to 850, so we've got the same overall thickness. OK. So now when we look at that in 3D, we can see we've got different materials. So we've got the two methods there of how to get the different finishes on our topography. So that's our first lesson in doing our site or our 